Hi, it's Drew Coleman, the Drew Coleman team at Hassan Company Realtors in Portland. Speaking of Portland, I am joined by Mike Barrett. Mike is the managing partner of the Portland Diamond Project, talking about bringing big league baseball here to Portland. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit, Mike, about your latest uh, project, which is very exciting, and the buzz around town is certainly all related to what you're the managing director of. Mm -hmm. So would you tell us a little bit about what's happening? Well, you know, I can, I'll, I'll, I can go with the long version and the short version, but the medium version is get done with the Blazers and... Um, which was fantastic and still have so many friends there. Um, Craig Cheek, who was an executive with Nike and ran Nike North America and Nike China, I had known him from somebody else and he connected us and we started talking about this baseball idea. Craig was great about one, being optimistic and always is, and two, connecting us to the right people who could legitimately make this happen. And then you take that along with Major League Baseball, there's a rare window that's open right now with a couple of teams that are struggling with, with uh, ballparks. And, and I think everybody knows that's Oakland and Tampa Bay. And then there's a couple other teams that have, have reached out to us. And then the commissioner has said, who we've been with uh, on occasion, has said he's going to expand by two teams and he's got to have a West Coast team. And as he said in Seattle, over a little over a year ago when he was asked, um, you know, he was asked about Portland and he said, you can pretty much figure out the West Coast prospects on that as good as I can. So that was a little nod to us um, and we've tried to do things. We tried to not come out for a long time. We tried to stay under the radar. Even though people knew something was going on, we didn't want to go public um, until we had to. And when Russell Wilson and Sierra joined us, um, it was hard to keep that under wraps. Um, we've done a ton of work and people I know are antsy for more information um, and so I know people were expecting us to come out with where it's going to be, that's I get that a lot when I'm out in public, where's the ballpark going to be. Um, we can't announce that until we are dead set and we have certain hurdles cleared. So that's where we're at basically now. That's really exciting, and I think it shows the legitimacy of the effort that we're not that this is not playing out in the public. This is really getting done behind closed doors, and I think our elected officials look at the vitality of the Timbers and the Blazers. And Portland's a quirky city, uh, but they love being outdoors. They love experiencing things, and they love that tribalism. And I think that would play well here. Well, I think Portland is an underserved market in terms of sports. It's the largest metro area with only one of what they call the big four. And that doesn't include MLS, but it should. And we all know how popular and what a success story the Timbers are and the Thorns too. Um, but in terms of those four leagues, you know, hockey and baseball and basketball and football, um, we're the largest market with only one of those. So underserved to be sure. And I remember back, you know, when the Timbers got going, people were saying, you know, there's not enough to support them. And well, they blew that, you know, notion out of the water. So, and we're kind of ready again, because even when the Timbers uh, came to be, we have Portland's a different city from then. And our growth index, as you know, in the real estate industry is, I think we're number nine among major cities in, in growth index and the probability of growth. Everybody knows, uh, everybody's coming up here and getting bigger and bigger and they're expecting big city amenities. And so the support and the ability to support the team, I don't have any doubt about. But it, it is great to know that we are certainly on the map and they're hearing us and following us uh, on the East Coast and in New York. Um, and the participation, people wanting to participate in this, that part has been humbling how many people just want to help. So the passion that's fueled it from the grassroots level, that has been great. And that's part of the branding and uh, part of the legitimacy you try to build, but truly it's just something that we felt almost surprised about how much of a hunger there is for this to succeed. And it adds pressure to us to make it happen, and that's what we're trying to do. Well, that's really exciting. Obviously a few balls left in the air, but Mike, thanks for all the hard work that you're doing for all of us. And thank you for joining us this week on American Dream TV. Look for Big League Baseball in our city very soon.